Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about 5 to 9 on the morning of Monday the 9th of May. Um, I'm reading The Narrow Bed by Sophie Hanna. I'm going to read Christine by Stephen King next because I've almost finished this. And I'm off to the Forest of Dean to go and see my mum and have a little mini break. So this week's vlog is just going to be sort of focusing on that. So um, let's, let's leave. Dane reads. We're in Chapstow. Chepstow Castle, Castel Casgrand. That was my Welsh. As we're just in Wales. So I have to shoot people. Staircase, it's like being at home. It's quite a steep staircase, mother. Oh. Well, we're on the battlements. Nice view. Chain mail door. I am the king of the castle. Here's me, mother. Hi, right, mother. You're on video. Yes, I remember, yeah. She's doing well. Come on now. We're in Martin's Gaff. Ooh. My mum's up there somewhere. I think we lost her. Oh, there she is. Alright, mother. What appears to be an outdoor fire pit. On the 25th day of May, 1648, near this spot was slain Sir Nicholas Kemys, knight and baronet of... something, and Landveer Scud, member of parliament and high sheriff for the counties of Monmouth and Glamorgan, whilst defending this castle for King Charles I against the forces of Oliver Cromwell. Erected by members of the Kemi's family 300 years later. So we're going into the Tudor Great Court. This medieval curtain wall became utterly transformed, transformed when grand new buildings were erected against either side of it. I see. So we've got that through there. This is how we access the second stage, level two. Jesus, this place is big. I see you bird. I see you down there, bird in a way. I see ya. Come on zoom, don't let me down now. 
Oh, the invaders are coming with their motorized weapons. Archers. Yeah. The Great Hall. Yeah, I feel like we've had a few great halls. The great bathroom. Massive, absolutely massive. These are the oldest castle doors in Europe. Some models. A genuine 12th century broom cupboard. <laughs> Keeping an eye out for enemy boats. There's one. So it says there, just off the stairs leading down to this cellar is a small enclosed platform where I just was. Possibly a tiny garden for the Lord and his guests to admire the river views. Its high status reinforced architecturally by the fine vaulted ceiling over its entrance. This finely vaulted cellar was used to store barrels of the Lord's wine and locally brewed ale. These would be winched up from boats beached in the river cave down below by a stout pulley arm projecting out from the doorway here. My mum's just said some of yours will be worth that much. My entire collection, maybe. We friended some kiddies. Oh, that one's going off. Are you coming to say hello? Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, got you, got you some scritches, got you some scritches. Yes, those are good scritches. Oh, got your bum. Where's your friend gone? Your friend's disappeared. Your friend's left you. Oh, there you are. Hello, do you want some scritches? Do you want some scritches? Give them. Give them. Give them. Yes, I'm nice. I'm a nice human. Come on. Yes. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yes. Oh, stretchies. Stretchy, stretchy, stretchies. Oh, your friend's cleaning themselves. Yes. Oh, oh it's okay. You're nervous, kitties, aren't you? Can we get your belly? No. Come on. Let me get you. Let me get you. Let me get you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lovely. Lovely. Right. I gotta go, mate. I gotta go. Hello, it is me. I am in my little bedroom here at the um, place we're staying at. It's currently uh, 2040, so that's what, 20 to 9 on um, Tuesday the 10th of May. Um, what's what's new well i traveled here yesterday and then we just sort of chilled um today we went to how much have i been listening because i keep asking we went to it begins with a c i don't know i'm gonna have to check my tiktok where did we go to we went to chepstow castle um and then we had a wander around chepstow and uh went to some of the charity shops i got some uh, books to, to film my haul for and I also picked up some vinyl some I got some 45 singles and um, two of the big records as well and then we went to I can't remember what it's called but the little crafty place let's have a look I took a photo of the sign so I'll have it here we went to Taurus it was called Taurus Taurus crafts um, so that was nice I uh, got some bits from there was a zero waste shop there Just had a little potter around that's actually where I got some of the vinyl singles from as well um, Tomorrow we're going to Puzzlewood, which is where they filmed bits of Lord of the Rings Harry Potter and Star Wars I think been there before it's a really nice place. So um, we'll be looking forward to getting to that um, I need to find a way to get 
stuff off my camera and onto my computer. Luckily my mum's laptop, I think I can borrow that and plug my memory card into that and copy it over to free up space on here so that I can keep, you know, filming and whatnot. I read a bit more of The Extended Phenotype by Richard Dawkins in bed last night, so that was nice. And uh, I finished reading The Narrow Bed by Sophie Hannah on the way here. It's like a 3.5 out of 5, it was okay. It could have been better, it could have been worse, you know? Um, but yeah, full review of that coming soon. And now I'm reading Christine by Stephen King, because it's kind of a tradition every time I go away traveling. I take my longest owned but unread book, and it's usually Stephen King, as was the case this time. Um, and yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. It's not really scary, it's just more sort of sinister, with a lot of weird things going on. Um, but that's fine, I can live with that. And then after that, I don't know what I'm going to read. Um, I've got a few. I've brought, I've brought another Stephen King, I think it's um, Skeleton Crew, I've got that. And I have some Alan Bennett plays, and obviously I've got these books that I, I picked up as well. So we will see. I'll probably, I think I'm going to read the Alan Bennett plays because it just makes sense because they count as like four different or five different books on my currently reading because there's each of the plays individually and then the collection as a whole. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a quick whistle stop tour. So this is my bedroom and this TV that I'm not using. I stayed here before like four years ago or something. So if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you might even remember it. Got this little thing in here, little storage thing that I'm storing nothing in. It's my mum's room's through there. Little bathroom. So I'm gonna go for a bath in a bit. And then this is like the main room. It's a jigsaw we've been doing. It'd be really satisfying if I could find another piece while we're filming this, but I don't think I can. No, too difficult. That's good though. Quack. Quack, 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 quack. Mm. Hello chicken. Hi Mr. Pygmy Goat. Hello. Hello. We love goats. How you doing bud? I like your beard. We love goats. Hello. We don't love them that much though. Oh, give me a little stroke. That's a clever way of scratching. Oh. Biggie needs. Yeah. Hello. Oh, little head scratch. Is that nice? You're going to jump up, aren't you? Hi. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're heading into the woods. This is what I tied the air up today. Yes, the air kept when I was going up and down them steps. Yeah. think so. So I think let's go the other way. But is there a thing there? Is that a dead end? No. Because there's like, um, I wonder if that's a walk through there, you can see a wooden roof. No, that's a hut. Ah. Saw the back of it from over there. 
there is a path still going that way. bells in the background Yeah. It's my mum making her way towards us over in the distance. Trying to lose her in the forest. bones it's the wild garlic it is a bit warm They film a lot of movies here and this is the perfect place for like a battle scene. Lots of small scattered fights. I feel a bit bad for beheading the wild garlic but as you can see there is a lot of wild garlic. Right, I feel like we were here earlier, but I don't know. There are stepping stones, but there might be more than one place with stepping stones. I don't think we were here. All right. Wow, the bathroom isn't a forest, so you should be alright. Now I see it, I think this was the one I lay under. Yes, because we came down the stairs. Oh well. We successfully found all 10 Roman coins, didn't we, Mother? Yay! Now we've just got to find the exit again. <laughs> left or right? Left or right. I think left as well. Right, we think we're by the exit, but we don't know.
out of we're out of the forest and I see the donkeys ah they got food they've been fed how nice is it what are you eating yes lovely nom 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 all right we're now in Monmouth and we're gonna go troll some charity shops Yo, it is currently just gone 10 past 11 on Wednesday the 11th of May. Still at the lodge, we went to Puzzlewood today, so that was nice. We went around Puzzlewood, saw the forest, so you guys saw all that stuff. And then we went into Monmouth to go charity shopping. Came back, we've been doing the jigsaw that we've been working on. I'll probably give you a quick update of that in a second because we're, we're making good progress. Um, I finished reading Christine, I had a bath and finished reading it in the bath, 4 out of 5 for me, full review coming soon, um, but yes, as you can tell I enjoyed it, bit of a slow burner in some ways, especially in the first half, but then it sort of definitely picked up. I am now reading Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw, which is what My Fair Lady is based on, uh, Liza Doolittle, all of that stuff. Tomorrow we are going to, I want to say Aberystwyth, I don't know. Where are we going tomorrow again? Abergavenny. Abergavenny, I was close. So we're going to go and look around at the charity shops there and stuff. Um, and then it's our last day here tomorrow as well. So in the evening we need to finish the jigsaw, do all the cleaning, do all the packing. And then we'll be heading off early in the morning and I'll be going home to see Biggie. Let's uh, show, you the, show you the jigsaw. How are you getting on, Mother? Slowly. Nearly there. Yeah, that's good progress. We've just got that massive yellow one to do. Oh god, yeah, this is... They're all just yellow. <laughs> oh, gardening. Yo, 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 it is currently 20 to 7 on Thursday the 12th of May. It is our final day here in the Forest of Dean. Um, I finished reading whatever it was I was reading. Well, I finished reading Christine by Stephen King. I finished reading that in the bath. That was a 4 out of 5. And then I read Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. That was probably a 4.5 out of 5. I did really enjoy that. Um, so, yeah, I now need to watch My Fair Lady as well. I'm currently reading this Celia Haddon book called, I don't know, I can't even remember. It's just a fun little mini book about cats. Um, one of the ones I got from a charity shop. So I'm reading that at the moment. Um, and then next, all right, I just switched to a new battery because I did charge one, so that's good. So yeah, I'm reading that Celia Haddon one. And then next, I'm going to probably read, I've got some Alan Bennett plays, um, which I'm probably going to start that because I'm going to have a bath and I can read that in the bath. And then I have Skeleton Crew by Stephen King, which I'm probably going to read on my way home. Um, but that's part of this omnibus, so it's like this thick and hardback, so it's not a very good book to take into the bath. I've read some more of The Extended Phenotype by Richard Dawkins as well. I've got like 30, 40 pages left to go. So yeah, we went to Abergavenny today. Went around the charity shops, went to get some food at a nice little restaurant-y place. So that was good. Um, this evening, we've mostly been packing and cleaning and stuff. It's still relatively early, to be honest. Uh, I'm probably going to have a few beers later just because we've got some so I can drink them so we don't have to take them home. I need to pack my case as well. Well, we'll have another bath in a bit as well. We also need to finish the jigsaw, but we've almost done that. I'm going to go and show you that now because I don't really have anything else to update you on really, I don't think. Other than that, I found that one of the books I got from the charity shop today is a book that I also got from the charity shop like two days ago. So I've just given it to my mum because she wants to read it. Here we go. So it's almost done. I also got some records and some cats for the garden. Greetings, it is me. It is currently 20 past 10 on the evening of Sunday the 15th of May. Um, what's new? 
I'm just trying to get my computer to connect to the fucking internet. Okay, well I went to the art centre open mic on Friday and had a few too many beers. Um, there was only time enough for me to play two songs there when you usually get three. But it was alright, it was still an okay evening. While I was there I wrote a piece of flash fiction on my phone which is for something I'm doing with uh, Alex from the Bookish Report here on YouTube. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, Saturday I was pretty much hungover all day. Today I've been okay, I've just been super tired so I've done a lot of sleeping. Um, which isn't ideal because I have a lot of stuff to do and a lot of tidying and all of this stuff that I need to get to later on. So I'm going to do what I can. Um, but I'd need to try and sleep okay tonight as well because I have a call at noon tomorrow. Then one at five and at half three I'm going to the dentist to uh, get my crown fitted from where I have my root canal. So hopefully that's not going to kind of incapacitate me and stop me from being able to do these calls. But I suppose we'll see. I finished reading, I was reading, what is it called? Carlology uh, by Carl Pilkington. So I read that. That was like probably a 3.5 but a strong one. Um, it was very funny, which is all you can hope for. And now I'm reading Skeleton Crew by Stephen King, which I started. But the edition that I had was missing like 40 odd pages of The Mist, which, you know, is my favourite. Well, probably my favourite Stephen King adaptation. I actually watched the movie of it yesterday, um, so that was good. I've downloaded My Fair Lady to watch as well. I'm also going to be going to a gig next Sunday in London. I'm going to go and see Simon Joyner, who is a singer-songwriter whose stuff I really enjoy. So I'm excited about that as well. Um, and also, yeah, when I got back on Friday, I did some stuff out in the garden, so that's been good, and had a little barbecue and things, so... So that's where I'm at, but I think I'm going to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.